All right. First off, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Vincent. I'm the singer for the Acacia Train. All right. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. For somebody that haven't heard of, about your band, go ahead and describe your music in five words or less. Five words or less? Yeah. <laughs> it is heavy. Cool. That's, that's one. That's enough. All right. You guys are out supporting the Dead Walk, Connecticut show, Monsters of Mayhem 2 tour, killer lineup. Talk about some of the bands on the tour. Um, this is the second day of tour, yep. but we've we've done shows with uh, Terror before. We did a tour with Terror before, and yep. best live band ever. Um, Hatebreed, we just got home from the UK with Hatebreed, yep. and they're like the nicest dudes in the world, probably. Um, and then like the other the other bands, God forbid, and us have been trying to get a tour together for I don't even know how long. So that's it's finally good to get back to, to get on the road with them. And, yep. Uh, I mean, Evergreen Terrace is is, is awesome. I've, I've never really listened to them, but like um, I saw them yesterday, and they're fucking sweet live and like sweet dudes. So and after the burial, like this is probably the most exciting time in their lives right now because they're you know they have their own self-produced CD out and like yep. they're on the road with, like all these great bands so, so I mean I'm excited so <laughs> definitely it's killer good, tour good time good time all right set list you guys gonna mix it up at all what do you got we're for time up a little um we have an intro that we're, we're playing shit we have an intro that we're playing that we wrote like two days ago so we're doing that and then like I don't know we're playing pretty much the same songs as we normally do because it's like total new crowd it's hate breed so it's like yep. so many different you know, groups of kids, like you have the, the metal kids, the mall kids, the hardcore kids, like, you know, like the jock dudes who drink beer in the bar, you know? Like, <laughs> so it's, it's all different groups of dudes because Hatebreed's such a diverse, that's it. Uh, <laughs> hope that uh, Hopefully not. Yeah. All right. Hometown area tonight, kind of. Yeah. Hatebreed, you. Expecting a lot tonight from the crowd coming down. I hope so. I mean, we haven't played in Connecticut for at least a year. I mean, every time we get booked here, it's like the show gets shut down, like while we're at it, or it gets shut down before we play, or, like whatever. But uh, yeah, this this is gonna be an awesome show because there's so many people that are like, dude, I haven't seen you forever. I'm so excited. This is fucking show is amazing. So yep. hopefully, kids get out early and like have a good time. I know we're playing at 6:30, so it's kind of early for us, but I'm sure it'll be packed out. Definitely so. All right, you just got back from UK tour with Hatebreed. How'd that go? Uh, that was actually phenomenal. I mean, we've never been there before, you know, yep. and, you know, there's the whole internet and everything, but a lot of kids over there hadn't heard us before, and especially the tour with Hate Breed. So it was a good, it was a good first experience for us. I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better band to support in the yep. other country. You know, Hate Breed's pretty much the band to support anywhere. Definitely. In a place where, you know, you're a new face. So it was good. There's a lot of kids, you know, supporting. You know, sing along even, it was, it was weird, but I had a good time. It's just, it's just, it's weird being in a different country. Really. Does it seem different? Kind of, I mean, I can't really, I can't really say, because, like I said before, Hatebreed's such a diverse band that yep. so many different kind of people like them that it, I couldn't really tell if it was like, you know, like, if it was a normal hardcore show or more of like a concert. Yep. But it was good either way. We had a really good time. All right. You had checked in, you had talked about the differences over there. Yeah. Their English, about how they roll their own cigarettes, all that. Yeah, yeah. It was different. It, it's, it's total culture shock, you know, because. You weren't expecting no, that? No, not at all. Well, <laughs> yeah. The thing is, is like, we're a lot of, especially like me and stuff like that, we're bred on just movies, and we, we figure it's just like that over there. Yep. Like, well, yeah. like, like, you know, James Bond or whatever, Austin awesome Powers. But it's, it's really, really different. Like, it, it is a totally different country. I mean, you're in Canada, and it's, it's still, like, you know, kind of America and stuff like that. But it yeah. is, like, even though they speak English, they speak a weird, you know, like, twisted version of it. Like, it's just total culture shock for all of us, really, you know. And honestly, we couldn't wait to get home. But. <laughs> Gas prices are outrageous Gas over there? Gas prices are outrageous, especially since our, yeah, our dollar is worth, you know, one of their dollars is worth two of ours. So you pay, like... A dollar, up one pound seven for a liter of gas, which is like that's like four dollars a gallon, you know. So it's pretty, it's pretty rough. But so we, we have nothing we to bitch about. We didn't drive, we didn't <laughs> pump gas ever, so you know. All right, do they sell American cigarettes there? They, they have Marlboros. I don't know. I don't smoke, so I don't. What's going on? I don't know. Like they have Marlboros. I'm pretty sure they have Camels. But they have all these other weird brands, and they all have the sticker that said like the, the sticker that's this big. It says "Smoking will kill you." 
It's oh, pretty right. sweet. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Good you, have, good. you have, you have some time you. off before you go out on the sounds. Yeah. What are you going to do? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure these dudes are going to just sit and do nothing. I mean, we can't, as the occasion, we can't play any shows because there's that restriction on, like, you know, Sounds doesn't want us to do anything before Sounds. Yep. So I'm probably going to go on tour with my other band, Cock Punch. Cool. So check it out, hopefully. You know. All right. Talk about the Sounds, killer. Dude, Looking forward to it. I've been trying to get, we've been trying to get on that tour since it, since two years ago, since when it started. So shut up. <laughs> so for us to be on it now, especially since OzFest is like fucking such a dwindling, you know, fest. Yeah. And it's, this is the new thing to do, you know, like no one wants to be on OzFest. You know, and the bands who did it are like, that was the worst thing ever we've ever done. So I'm really excited to get on Sounds because it's really well put together. Definitely. It's really well run and, you know, all the bands on are phenomenal, so. Staying in touch with current events. When you were over in the UK, did you do that? I mean, yeah, we, just... we we heard all about. They cover our news better than we do. Really? Honestly, like if you go on uh, the Guardian.co.uk, that's their like main newspaper. You can read all about the shits happening in America that we don't even know about because you know we we have the whole like CNN blind down on us because we're like, oh, CNN's the place for news, but. They report it way better than we do. I, I mean, we heard all about the, the Virginia Tech shooting and yep. all about that. You know, we were constantly just like on the news and cool, like reading the newspapers and stuff like that. It's Website pretty... soon for you guys? Yeah, it's 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 done. Okay. We just have to kind of strangle away our domain name from the kid who's fucking stole it from us and made it like a pretty serious porno site. So like, we just gotta we gotta do something to him, and then we'll have it. It'll be up. Cool. You can hear. Your music at MySpace, best place? Yeah, I guess MySpace would be the best place to go. I mean, we have a pure volume site too, I think, but yep. I don't check that at all. I check the I check the MySpace as often as I can. I mean, when we're out on the road and stuff, like, it's so hard to get, like, a Wi-Fi signal from my laptop yep. and shit, so. I mean, I, I do check it as often as I can, and I try to update it. You guys pick your top eight? Yeah. YouTube or MySpace? For videos or just as what, a whatever as whatever you sure, frequent like, more. Well, it depends on if you're like a creep or you just like to have fun. Because if you're a creep, you can go on MySpace and do anything. You can like look at girls that you went to high school with that you used to like <laughs> stare from the back row. Or I mean, I mean, YouTube is a better resource for videos. I think their videos are like, I mean, since it got bought by Fox, it's kind of like more censored. But yep, um, I, I go to YouTube all the time for videos. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. New material by when? Oh Jesus, I don't even know. We're, we're working on it right now. We have three songs done that we're putting on a 7-inch or a split CD with, uh, with Ion Dissonance. Who knows when the hell that's going to come out. Okay. But as far as like writing writing new material, we're going to start probably after Sounds or after the tour after Sounds. So probably this fall we'll start writing, writing, like really dig down deep. Cool. Alright, a little bit about you. What made you want to be a front man? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know how to play any instruments. You know, I wanted to be in a band, and I wanted to be on stage, and I, I didn't really. I tried playing guitar. I tried fucking doing all this shit. It just didn't work out. So, you know, I found some friends who do, and you know, I guess I was forced into it. First gig that you sang at live, where? Oh, uh, with I who? Don't even know. <laughs> I used to be in this terrible grindcore band called Septic Orgasm. That was my first band ever. Our first show was honestly, I can't even I can't even tell you. That was in like 1999 or something like that. I don't I honestly don't even remember. Alright. We have played like we did we did play with some we played like an art on earth and something in Maine. It was just like it was funny just looking back on it now because we were so bad. Alright. The fact that we even got shows was This is your time to add anything to the interview, say anything to the fans, anything that I missed, anything you want to plug, whatever. Uh, I don't know, just come to these shows, go to Sounds of the Underground. It's like I said, it's it's gonna be way better than any there's gonna be way less drunk dudes, way less drunk shirtless dudes than Ozfest. And uh, just like if you see anything that you like, like our merch or whatever, just pick it up. I started a clothing company called Diamond Cut, it's got all straight edge shit for all straight kids out there. Yep. Listen to my other band, Cock Punch, you know. I'm out there, I'm doing it, I'm trying to, you know, give back to the scene that, you know, brought me up. So Excellent. Come out, please. Thank you very much Thank for you. your time.